One of the key aspects of NX is its extensibility, and the community plays a big role in that. By providing the community with the right extension points, they can integrate into NX and not only provide an, a better experience for themselves, but also share it with the rest of the world. A while ago, for that purpose, we introduced the NX.dev community page where people can join the community Slack, interact with other community members, and also publish their own plugins. And I'm super excited to announce that in the latest release of NX, we made it even better. Now, community plugins can not only integrate into an existing workspace, but we actually opened up our preset API such that community authors can provide their own presets and therefore fully control the shape of a new, brand new NX workspace. So let's check it out. So in order to get started, we can simply generate a new plugin. And of course, if you have already a plugin, you can just integrate it into your existing one. So I'm going to the NX guide here about NX plugins, and I'm copying here this command to set up a new NX plugin. Let's call our organization Task Labs, and our plugin here will be Happy Normal. By running this command, we get a new NX monorepo workspace that is pre-configured to publish new NX plugins. And actually we got already our plugin set up in here. And in order to use the new preset feature, we want to generate a new generator. So let me invoke here NX console, create a new generator on that happy novel plugin, which we already have. And we need to call this preset. This will create a new generator inside here that is called preset. And for the purpose to keep this simple, let's just generate a normal JavaScript file as our new preset. And in here, let's just print out some text. We can go into the pre-generated generator.js file and we can leave most of it as is. The only thing we might want to change is that we want to actually generate an application rather than a library. And also here, let's just use the name of the project as our project directory. Finally, let's go further down in the actual generator function here. Let's also adjust this configuration to generate an application configuration. And for the rest, we should be pretty much set up. The only thing that we also want to change here is the actual targets that we want to generate for our preset. And so let's say we want to generate a surf target that uses the normal run commands executor. And for the options, we just basically add a comment here that invokes node. And what we want to do is to actually just run the file from our project root, which in this case would be the project root calculate from our normalized options. And inside there, we have the source folder because we basically specified here source folder as SRC. And we have our index.js that should be generated in there. So basically, whenever you then invoke that serve, it should simply run node on that file. To keep it simple, we don't want to add any kind of pre-compilation step here. So our simple NX plugin with its preset should be ready. So first of all, we can actually run the build for it. And this will produce the compiled artifact in our dist folder. So we could just now go ahead and actually publish this to a local registry. Let me cd into the dist folder. And I have a local registry running, so I can just run publish to that local registry of the current directory. And this will now publish task labs happy novel in version 001. So once the plugin is published, we can go back to our console and use the create NX workspace command. Let's call our organization task org. And now we can use our new preset that we just generated, which is task labs happy novel. And this will now generate a new workspace that is fully controlled by our new Task Labs Happy Now plugin. Opening the generated NX workspace, we can see our apps and libs folder because we didn't really change that in our preset, although we could. But what we see is that we got our task org application generated as we specified in our preset, as well as our index.js file with the message which we encoded. If you go into project JSON, we can also see the surf target that we specified and we can actually go ahead and surf our task org application and get the message printed out just as we would expect. 
So by opening up this preset API, we bring Annex to a whole new level in terms of extensibility. Community developers and external plugin developers have now full flexibility in shaping the appearance of new Annex workspaces and cannot just integrate into existing ones. So definitely go to our annex.dev website, go to annex.dev slash community to learn about new community plugin development or submit your own cool community plugin.